you know, let's let's actually get into this. So you and I had a conversation at one point, even without, um, and this was actually before I went into the Sea Org. When I was starting to, I think it was in 94, when it was about a year before I went in the Sea Org, where I was upset that you were not doing Scientology mm -hmm. because I was so into it. I was so idealistic mm -hmm. about it, right? Um, I was constantly giving you a hard time. You should get back to flag. You should do this. You should that. To me telling you what you should do with your life, right? Because Scientology was the only thing that you should be doing and the best thing you should be doing and all that. And you had had your own experiences with it. Didn't want to go. Didn't want to get into it. And I couldn't find out from you what it was that had happened that was so bad. You All you would tell me at the time was... They're going to tell me I have to do the PTSSB course, which I don't need, I don't want to do, and I'm not going back. And that was all that you would say about it. And so I could never find out or draw out of you what had happened that was so horrible and awful, but I knew that somehow Scientology could deal with it, and, and you needed to do the rest of the bridge because it was just awful that you weren't. Yeah. And this became a point, though, where, where our relationship became strained. Because it was kind of, as far as what I remember, it was all I was talking about. It was. That, right? It, it was. You know, I guess it's kind of true when they say a, a society is as sick as its secrets. I think that's true. Hmm. Um, and I think I first heard that from Oprah. Although I don't think she coined it. Hmm. But it, it really is kind of that way. And the same applies to a family, and the same applies to an organization. Um, when it becomes, um, what's that word? We all we use it, dis something or another, dysfunctional. Mm. When something becomes dysfunctional, it's usually based on secrets. Um, I couldn't tell you a lot of what happened to me at Flag and with your dad and stuff like that because it involved situations with your dad that I did not want to speak to or speak about with you and um, and I needed to resolve those issues myself anyway. You were the kid, I was the, uh, the adult, you know. Um, so I think that we had secrets that we were holding from with, and because of Scientology, because of things we learned in Scientology, same thing. When, when your dad and I left the group, we didn't say a word about why and what was bothering us. When you, you know, when you and your dad and I divorced, um, you were gone. I didn't want you to have all of that stuff. What were you going to do with it? Right. See what I mean? Right. Would it just been a distraction for you with what you were doing? Um, and and he's your dad. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so there was that for me but I had no clue um, that you you know the secrets you kept from me kept me from maybe fighting harder you know to understand what was going on with you and and I don't know that we were estranged we just were keeping it very social you know mm -hmm. like light mm -hmm. like let's not get into this because um, you weren't ready to do that either well, it was sort of, um, uh, you know, this sort of, um, yeah, let's keep it light. Let's just yeah. sort of keep it, you know, where it, in order to have any communication at yeah. all, right, uh, we were doing that. But I was at one point, actually more than one point over the years, um, wondering whether this was even a communication you know, like whether this was a relationship that, that I should be keeping in my life because Scientology has this thing about about it, right? But you convinced me to. What? <laughs> you convinced me to keep that. <clears throat> we had a phone conversation one day. Okay. And, and you said to me uh, a, a number of things, but basically what you got across to me was um, that Scientology is all about improving conditions in life. That's what it's supposed to be for, right? It's supposed to improve things. Mm -hmm. That Scientology is, you know, because I, I would say things to you like, 
well, Scientology is the one thing that's senior to life because it explains all of life. And, and so therefore, you should be doing it because it's more important than anything else going on in your life because it's the most important thing in all of life, right? Rah, rah. And you would... Li- and you would <laughs> yes, you would, you would say that. <laughs> yes, that's right. And you would listen to this and you'd go, you know, I this kid. And you would say, you'd say, look, I totally get it, you know. But you'd say, look, if Scientology uh, is supposed to be making your life better if it's if it explains you know that you have yourself and your family and your groups and mankind if it explains all of life this way and breaks it all down and if it explains communication and and says that communication is the most important thing between you know you you and your family and your groups and all these sort of things and if and if that's all true and I said, well, yeah, those things are all true, because, of course, I had to agree with that, because that is what Scientology fundamentals actually mm-hmm. say. Mm-hmm. It's not necessarily what they do, but it is what they say, mm-hmm. right? You are actually pointing out an inconsistency or a, a, a point mm-hmm. about this without saying this is an inconsistency. Mm-hmm. You were insisting that if that's what Scientology is, then that's what we need to be doing, mm-hmm. Right? That's what our relationship needs to be. pretty smart. It was brilliant. <laughs> I look back on it, and I think it was like wow. one of the most brilliant things that you could have possibly done. Wow. Because that was how you convinced me that if Scientology is all that, and if Scientology's whole goal is to make our relationship better, then how does it make any goddamn sense yeah. for you to disconnect from me? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Chris, I have to, uh, well, again, principles being what they are, when I was doing the ethics officer thing, and, you know, there's the little thing about um, you have you have to handle or disconnect mm-hmm. from your family, that disconnect part never made sense to me. I mean, that was like the, the worst extreme that a person would have to go through. So I always connected with the handle part of it. So when somebody came in to me and, oh, my dad and, oh, my mom and blah, 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 Okay, well, now how are you going to handle that? You're in a communications course. How are we going to handle that? What do you take home to communicate to your folks that is going to be acceptable? So, so that was the part I thought, that, was, that made the sense to me. Mm-hmm. But that's not what I see happening. You know? Not and now. That's, no. Yeah. And so, so that, again, it just kind of blows my mind. Right. Because to me, if you make something better... It's not exclusive, it's inclusive. The more you can include in your life, rather than exclude, the, you know, the better your exactly. life is. Exactly, and, 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 and philosophically I agree with that statement. Yeah. You know? yeah. And that was, that was something that you pointed out to me, or showed me, right? Using Scientology, mm-hmm. right? Using, I get it. Using Scientology reasoning that stuck with me. Good. For the rest of the years that I was in Scientology, wow. right? Wow. And that's how we, and I, and I wanted to, it was one of the most important things I wanted to talk about in this conversation with you, right? Was that, that and it was a phone call. It wasn't even something you did in person. I remember I was sitting in the treasury office of the Santa Barbara Org. And this is one of those indelible moments of my life that I just will never forget. Wow. Was that conversation. Wow. Because it changed my view of, of you, of our relationship. Because my re- our relationship had been deteriorating. Right. Because of Scientology. Right, right.